us, we gon' go. The draft. I didn't get to watch the draft because, you know, like, you know, us, we, we regular working people, you know what I'm saying, you know, stuff like that. So we don't have a lot of time to break down and analyze a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Uh, but we're going to talk about Bronny James going to L.A. and was the 55th pick, overall pick, in the 2024 NBA draft. How do you guys feel about that? Starting with you, Slash, Mo, then we're going to get with our analysts. Let's go. All right. All right. I watched the whole first round. All the way up until L.A. got their pick. The first six, seven picks was nothing but Frenchmen. Like the very first pick and the second pick, and I think the fourth pick was all from France. They was all from France. These international players, man, they taking over, man. They taking over. This ain't a nigga league dude, no more, man. <laughs> me and my dude Richie, man, that we trying to get on the show, man. We was watching, we was watching the draft, and we was like, bro, you see that, man? They all from France, bro, and they supposed to be good. <laughs> so these like, pasta like, eating, these pasta eating, light skin. Mm, uh, yeah, man, <laughs> bro, like they. So like, we gonna see how it's gonna go, man. They supposed to all be some beasts too, so. We'll like, see. We got to be on the lookout for him. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Mo, what you got? Ah, oh, man. Shit. I'm going to say <laughs> it's hard, man. It's hard, bro. <laughs> I don't really know what the hell to say. You know? Right. And run it by me one more time, man, because I lost it. Mo, you already smoking some weed. Mo, over there. Mo, over there. No, my no, 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 keep going in and out. I don't know what <laughs> Now, Ronnie James going uh, the, uh, <laughs> overall 15th oh, to the Lakers. LA. Well, hey, man, that's a dangerous thing, man. You know, it's, it's good, you know, but if it don't work out, them niggas don't be playing in L.A. Shit, it's time to pack up and come back to Cleveland if it don't happen. So <laughs> yo, I would man, yo, man, he go. only been on uh, LeBron going back to Cleveland. You know, maybe he'll go in his like his last couple of games. Maybe he'll go and retire in uh, Cleveland, man. But right now, ain't nobody. Once you go out west, ain't no coming back out here. Ain't nobody ain't no trying to back. deal with this bipolar weather okay. out here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, ain't nobody coming back, bro. You know, ain't man? no nigga been from Akron been out there either. Yeah. He just come. A- ain't no nigga been from Akron out to LA like that. He gonna come back just to visit his family and retire and go back to LA. <laughs> well, he gonna come back and retire, Cavalier though. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? It is what it is. Uh, but um, when I when I heard about his son, oh, go ahead. Well, first, go ahead, go ahead, Fred. I'm sorry. What you got? Oh, well. With respects to Bronny James, that was purely a business decision that worked out for everybody. And I love the nepotism involved. I really do. And I want to see that thing work out. We know he might. I mean, very few people succeed in the NBA. But all these Frenchmen, let me say this. Do y'all remember the Olympics where we got our asses kicked by street ball? (laughs) And the white motherfuckers were playing. They was playing Wildland Park basketball. They was playing our ball. Was, Hell no. They yeah. were shocked a little bit. And Brian and them had to get their shit together. Like, nigga, you can actually be physical. That's the right. proof. So the Frenchman can come over here, yeah. Tony Parker, come over this motherfucker because these niggas are soft. And that's how they play. They train to be soft. You know, so they come over here and start running the league. They doing, they doing. No, think about what Charles Barkley beat up the Africans and shit. Come on now. (laughs) I'm just saying, back then, we played ball. Yeah. Hard But look at it like this. You come in this paint, you getting fucked up. Detroit Piston Man, will you tell them about? That paint was a but look, for you to come they, here they, without a penalty. The white man tired of that shit. They want to change the league. They tired of giving us brothers this money. So they want to change oh, the face. Man. Why ain't no big man? Hey, how can we ain't going inside like we used to with the big man? They don't want to be physical no more. Let the Europeans stay out there. Let them shoot the three. That's it. Let Go me ahead, bro. One time. Let me back you up. Time Magazine had an article where they say NBA fans was tired of the white people not being represented on the court. And the shit changed from then. Research that. Hmm. Yeah. Right. And, and now, wait. that's what you got. Mm. Until until Joking you get. Joking against Kareem is a joke. 
<laughs> it would be no, it would be no, no, man. Arthur, you about to kill yourself, man. I'm like, hey, man, it's just a show. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. me up, baby. I'm so sorry. The shit burns. I was no, don't do it, Fridge. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, but uh, I'm gonna say y'all shit. <laughs> but, uh, but tell but, me I'm wrong, though. No. Hey, I mean, you right, man. And like, until the NBA get back to that, you know, what I mean, the ratings are gonna keep going down. Like, like they're catering to the younger generation that really don't have any. And I'm not saying like. My knowledge of basketball or sports is, you know, better than anybody else, but nobody's checking the game. You know, but nobody's doing research and looking how before we are we, we have been able to see two generations of basketball and this generation of basketball. So we got three generations of basketball that we have seen. You see what I'm saying? So we know how it is then and how it is now. And they always talk about players are more skilled skilled in this in this era than it is in that era. We'll never know because they're never played. But we know how the game was before. The reason why there's more scoring now because there's less defense, you know, play. And everybody yeah. just running out, spreading the floor, ISO, kick it out to a three-point. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And stuff they like that. The so, up when, wow. they put the, uh, when they put the zone in, I knew the league was going down. The zone was never supposed to come into the NBA, ever. Yeah. Ever. Why did you – and when the zone yeah. in, I said, the shit's over with. I'm about to say, and that was my favorite sport. I loved yeah. it more than football because I was great at football, but you know, sucked at basketball. I got good though, but it's just <laughs> I love basketball. I think fat niggas <laughs> love basketball. Right, right. So until hey, now, hey, I got a shout out, man. So hey, shout let out. me shout out to everybody watching. Yeah, they hey, shout out to everybody. Tell my boy Truth happy birthday. Like uh. and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, it's your birthday, bro? <laughs> yeah. You ain't say nothing, man. You know I give out great gifts. Hey, I'm, I'm low-key with it, man. I'm low-key with it, man. I'm going to be on it, man. I'm going to be on it all like that. Now nah. I see you, you got hey. a bottle coming. All right, hey, well, here's my birthday gift. Let's go. Yeah, no, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Watch this video, man. Put happy birthday oh. at the bottom in the comment section. All right, hey, That's appreciate it, it y'all, man. Thank hey, you. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> put your cash Word app up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll right. put my Zell up. Cash app, you know. Now nah, I put Zell up. I trust Zell. If you want to Zell me, give me a birthday gift. You know what I'm saying? Your know, shout out. I'm about to deal with Cash App. True, <laughs> you're the only one who believe in Zell. I don't do Cash App. I fuck with Zell through my bank. You the hey. only other person I've heard say that. Hey, yes, that was the truth, man. That's, you know, real transaction. Cash app may be getting hacked, you know, all the time. My cash app got hacked, you know what I mean? So that's why I don't use it. My Zell got hacked. I don't know what y'all talking about. My they they, all, they all get My Zell got hacked. They all get hacked, you know? Just give me cash, you know? <laughs> you want to send me a, a, a money it. order or something? Just, just go old school with it. <laughs> what, you in jail, motherfucker? You can't hack a money order. <laughs> What are you a prison? Let's go. Hey, Slash said we owe, so I'm going to go old school with it. But you can see money or the city of Western That's Union it. is whatever. Let's go for that round. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, I appreciate, God, appreciate that, Mo, with a shout out, though. Appreciate that, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It's been yeah. a pleasure. Yeah. Put, 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 happy birthday, Proof, in the comment section. Thank you for watching Out the Pocket Sports with the Truth. NTA slash. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment and share the video. It's my word to the family. I know it's been hard, but do it all, man. I promise we gon'